Okay, so we're going to make a negative out of this. Um, my original picture was in color. I just did a quick edit in black and white to make it be nice and contrasty because you really need the contrast in this picture. So I have areas that are truly deeply black. I have areas that are truly white and then you can see the details in the gray areas. And the, like these neon signs over here, I played with highlights. So those were really well defined. So, okay, develop mode. Um, this is the easy move, you guys. We need to go down to just your tone curve. That's where I start with this. And you want to be on the gray circle. So you're doing all the channels at the same time. And the way I do this is I take the highlight curve and I pull it all the way down to the bottom. And I take the shadow curve and I pull it all the way up to the top. So that inverted my tones. You can see the white border has now gone black. And this actually looks pretty good. What I'm doing is I'm checking all the areas where details matter to me. Um, also, what you'll see is you can pull it down and make it darker, but I don't want to make it too dark. Um, cause if I make it too dark, like now the neon signs where it says office and lobby, those won't show up so much anymore. So I can take this curve right here and I might want to make a couple areas just a little bit darker. So I just pull down on it slightly and I might have some areas that I might want to make just a little bit brighter. So they have more detail in them like that. And that's it. That is my whole thing. I can go up here if I feel like my overall picture is too gray and I can look at the contrast slider and push that around a little bit. I would push it up, not necessarily down. If I go down, everything gets gray, which means that there won't be much difference in my tones. So I would go contrast and just go up a little bit. And that's about it. From here, you can export this and I would do this. I would custom name it with custom name and original file number and I would change it to, you know, whatever class period you're in. So period one, um, your name, this K and just call it Neg, N-E-G. And it's going to be a hundred percent JPEG. That's perfect. There's no resizing. All that stays the same. So now I can just export it and you'll be able to, here it is. There's my negative. Okay. So now I can just turn that in in Google classroom, um, drop it off as a file so that I can print it for you. That's it.